My decade is the 1970s, and my research question is why were women accepted to have jobs in the Vietnam War, but still discriminated against inside of the United States of America, and still not given the same job opportunities as men? I created an action plan to answer this question. So the first thing I did was I created an end goal, and that was to create a research question that I would be able to discuss and answer through this broadcast, and I also wanted to do research on my question so I could follow it. So the next thing I did is I created a list and steps to follow. So I created a research question and then I researched it and made some notes which I will share with you later. And then I compiled my ideas together and thought of how I can com um, of how I can include everything together and make everything flow and match and make sense. Once I did that, I made a summary of what I had learned. Also, I um, reflected it back to the research question and then I reviewed my work and I created the script that I'm making for you right now and then lastly in this step I made sure that everything just connected and made sense. Um, the next few steps of an action plan that I did were I had to prioritize my tasks and deadlines and there wasn't really too many deadlines it was just uploading um, my assignment on time which I just made sure I used my time wisely I set milestones. The few ones that were important were to make an action plan, then find sources, and then take notes on them, and then create this video. Those are kind of the milestones that I hit. And then I identified the resources I needed to complete this assignment was to obviously do research, have a way to make a video and upload it, and turn that in. Um, and then the last few steps that I did in this action plan was I kind of I had to visualize my action plan, which obviously I am living that out right now by making this video. That's kind of my end result and what I had visualized, how it went. And then lastly, I had to monitor, evaluate, and update. So I will just give an evaluation of how I think it went at the end. So let's start off with recapping the research question, which is why were women accepted to have jobs in the Vietnam War? but still discriminated against inside the United States of America and still not given the same job opportunities as men in the 1970s. So I have three sources that I pulled from. One of them was from History.com, and it discussed women's roles during the Vietnam War, which was in, it, at least it ended in the early 1970s. So a part of a quote that I have for you is, women in the Vietnam War served as soldiers, health workers, and in news gathering capacities. Though relatively little official data exists about the female Vietnam War veterans, the Vietnam Women's Memorial Foundation estimates that approximately 11,000 military women were stationed in Vietnam during the conflict. So we know that the USA definitely used and wanted the help of women, which is something that they never really done. They kind of kept women out of the workforce, but now women are able to volunteer themselves and help out in this. Um, another source that I got, the author is Emily Simone from her website, Woman Work Life. Let me read you the quote that I found on that. So, um, basically what she did was she was a kid in the 1970s and she's kind of recapping in her old, like in her years being an adult of what was life in the 1970s that she didn't really remember. So she found some magazines that her family had kept that were made in the 1970s and she evaluated them. And a few of the magazines had ads. And one of them, she said, this ad states, our Thursday food guide is for you because you're the smartest housemaker around. And it was basically just a picture of a woman in the kitchen kind of insinuating that women still belong in the kitchen, like they don't need to be out in the workforce, which kind of goes against what the woman wanted to do. They all, like the big thing in the 1970s was the women's right movements. Um, so kind of odd how they were accepted into the Vietnam War, but then still in the 1970s, it was, oh, stay in the kitchen and cook. Another ad that um, was in this magazine said, she'll be happy if you give her an oven. Here she is dutifully and joyfully in the kitchen serving her guests. That was kind of the 
um, caption. So again, this kind of tells you like that's kind of what the marketing or the um, magazine industry promoted and shared that what they wanted to get out was women stay in the kitchen or whatnot. Um, and then the last source that I found was a little interesting and more different. It's by Janet Yellen from her website Brookings. And the quote I have for that as my source is um, about education and workforce of the woman in the 70s. So the quote reads, one of the primary factors contributing to the failure of these highly skilled women to reach the tops of their professions and earn equal pay is that top jobs and fields such as law and business require longer work weeks and penalize taking time off. This would have been a disproportionately large effect on women who continue to bear the lion's share of domestic and child rearing responsibilities. So this kind of explains why the woman weren't really given the same job opportunities. It, From the way I see it, it really comes down to that, that when they wanted to really exceed and go somewhere in a job, they literally couldn't because they weren't really given the opportunity to because if they wanted to choose to have a child or if they had a child and they had any sort of job that just didn't want them taking time off, if they were to take time off, they would have to quit or they would be laid off. So I think that's the biggest reason why in the Vietnam War, it seems like the women were being accepted to work, but then once they're back in the, the States, they were not given or wanted, really. So I think that quote, the last quote in itself, kind of sums that up. So to just compile my ideas, <clears throat> I thought that all of my sources kind of brought to light how women were getting jobs and they're able to have different lives, but they're still kind of prejudiced against. And of course, again, using the last quote as an example, just the industry in itself didn't give them that opportunity, which obviously doesn't seem very fair. Um, so this refers back to my research question of how the women were accepted to help a country, but then they were not treated equally once they were back in the States. Um, um, an overall summary of what I have kind of learned is that women helped in the war, um, so they're obviously very important, um, but then in the States, trying to get a job, they didn't have fair wage and they weren't treated fairly, so they could not really get that. Um, so I have gone over all of my steps for my action plan. And I believe I have completed everything. I will upload my works cited page and share my research question.